Don't do anything stupid until I get back. How can I? Taking all the stupid with you. Hi and welcome to Gamers Web. My name is Mark, and today we're going to take a look at the Vision and Winter Soldier expansion CP13 for a Crisis Protocol miniatures game from Atomic Mass Games. Um, been a bit of a delay with getting this into the UK. Uh, it was released in the States um, last month on Valentine's Day, along with um, the Asgardians, and we've had real problems getting it in the UK, but it's finally arrived. And in this pack, you get um, Winter Soldier and vision uh, vision phasing through a wall though and um, we'll have a quick look okay okay so um till the end of the line originally created by ultron uh to destroy the avengers the android known as vision turned up against his turned against his creator and joined her mightiest heroes vision is able to alter his density allowing to phase through solid objects and to augment his strength and durability to incredible levels using the solar gem in his forehead uh, Vision can synthesize energy from his surroundings and focus it into highly destructive energy blasts. James Buchanan Bucky Barnes fought alongside Captain America during World War II before seemingly meeting his demise whilst on a mission years later. Barnes re-emerged as the brainwashed Russian agent known as the Winter Soldier. Eventually, after crossing paths with his old friend and partner Captain America, Bucky was able to shake off his Russian programming and claim his freedom. Includes uh, one Vision miniature, one Winter Soldier miniature, two bases, two character stat cards, 14 tactic cards and 10 tokens. And as always, miniatures supplied, unpainted and unassembled. Right, okay, okay, so let's have a jump in. Now, um, as I just read, um, it did say that Vision was created by um, Hank Pym, uh, not by Tony Stark and Bruce Banner, as you will find in the, in the movies, because... Obviously, this is a vision from the comic books. It's not the vision from the Marvel movies because uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol is mainly based around the um, the actual comic books. Um, although there is occasionally it will cross over, like till the end of the line, it crosses over with the comic books and um, a few. Uh, sorry, with the movies and the comic books. So anyway, I digress. Let's jump in. Okay, so this is CP thirteen. Um, we are still missing CP10, which is um, uh, Ghost, Spider, and Miles Morales. But um, hopefully that should come very shortly. Empty box. Right, so we just leave that there. Um, we get our obligatory piece of blank cardboard. We get our wee goodie bag with our miniatures in. Our bag with all our tokens and cards in. Now the obligatory read me this, read this first uh, sheet which it also includes our assembly guide for um, the models. Now, Winter Soldier and uh, Vision are quite simple to put together because they're not very many pieces. Um, one of the things that a few people have been doing with Vision, because this block here, um, although he looks like he's actually phasing through the wall, I don't like that, and quite a few other people seem not to like it because they've been emitting that from the base completely. Gluing the leg on to the base and just sculpting a kneecap and then having him actually with a, a rod here, uh, or a flying base, so he's actually flying forwards. Um, they do look very good that way, but I don't like this um, phasing through the wall, I don't like that at all. Winter Soldier, I've seen some quite dramatic poses of that with him actually vaulting over things, which is quite cool. Um, I'm just going to assemble mine as normal, but I am going to um, get rid of the... Um, uh, base, I think, on uh, vision. Okay, so let's look at that. I'll look at the miniatures first, then we'll do the cardboard. Okay, so um, as always, they come with um, the ready sculpted bases. So we get four of those. And then we get... There is Winter Soldier. And thankfully, his head is all one piece, as you can see. He's got a little mask on. Right, so that's the bath that Bucky Barnes used to wear in the comic books. And then we have Vision. So, not very many pieces to Vision, or Winter Soldier for that matter. And um, the head on Vision is absolutely really nice. Look at that. This looks just like the comic book. Fantastic sculpt. But as I say, I don't like this part here. 
so I'm going to admit that completely. Okay, so I'm um, moving on to the card. If I can just get into the bag. The Ziploc bags are brilliant, but they can be a pain in the neck to get into. Okay, so we get our tokens. So we get a face token for Vision, which I think that's what a face token is anyway. Um, Avengers affiliation, because they're both Avengers affiliated. Sorry, Vision's Avenger affiliated, Wicked Winter Soldier isn't. Uh, some power tokens and some bleed tokens. And then we get um, tactical analysis, uh, psychic shielding device, um, till the end of the line, and uh, field dressing. Those are the four cards, which we'll look at in a moment. And of course, we get um, the Winter Soldier card and the Vision card. Okay, so um, we'll start with the Vision card first. Uh, actually, no, we'll start with the tactics cards. Okay, so tactical analysis. Um, it's an unaffiliated card. It's uh, active. This active character may spend two points to two power points to play this card. Choose another allied character within range three of this character when playing this card. That chosen character may advance shot. Okay, so that gives you an extra movement. And then um, psychic shielding device or PSD. Um, it's an unaffiliated. Uh, it's an active card. Uh, any character may spend one to five power to play this card. Uh, the round that this is played, the number of power that the character spends um, is equal to uh, play to play this card. Uh, when in range of a target, hang on, when our character is targeted by um, power attacks, add one die to the defense rolls for any allied character cannot advance or be pushed by effects, uh, enemy attacks, or superpowers. Right, okay, I'll read that again because that doesn't make sense. But okay, this round, whilst playing, whilst within. Uh, range X of this character. Ah, right, so basically you spend the power and it gives you range 1 to 5 and you can't be attacked or by, um, you can't be uh, pushed by or gain any effects by uh, enemy superpowers. Okay, um, field dressing, um, unaffiliated, active character with in range two of a day's ally character may spend this card to play this remove a day's token from and one wound from that ally character so basically it's another health and then we have um till the end of the line unaffiliated captain america and winter soldier card so winter soldier and captain america may play spend two power each to play this card whilst within range one of each other uh this round uh these characters cannot be moved cannot be moved towards uh, moved by enemy effects and combine their defensive values when creative defensive dice pool when defending against uh, physical or energy attacks. So basically, um, they get seven dice between them um, for defense. Either six or seven dice, which is quite a lot. Okay, so I'll look at Winter uh, Vision first. So um, start with his good side, as always. Uh, Vision, he is um, Victor Shade. So that's his alias in the comics. Uh, he's got a standard of six, a movement medium. He's a size two because he's a humanoid. He's got a threat of four. He's got physical and energy of two defense, and he's got a mystic of four. And uh, his first attack is a solar beam, which is a blast five or beam five, beam four. Sorry. Um, it does five damage and costs no power. After this attack is resolved, the character gains one power. Okay, and um, sap energy before damage is dealt, the target character loses one power for each uh, critical, uh, sorry, each wild in the attack roll, and this character gains that amount of power. So if you roll five wilds, you gain five power and they lose energy. Okay, um, uh, Synthesoid Avenger, it's got a range of three, strength of seven, and a power cost of four. Uh, the defending character does not add um, critical results in this defense roll to the total success and cannot add additional dice to the defense roll as a result of critical results. And then um, he's got a uh, calculated trajectory, which is a power cost two. Uh, choose an interactive terrain feature of or an enemy character, both of size three or less, within uh, range two and throw it medium. This superpower can be used once per turn. Synthesis is an action. This character gains two power. And that costs no power. Uh, and he can do that every turn. Uh, um, rapid phase. Uh, when this character is targeted by an enemy attack, this character may use his power, uh, remove the current phasing type, and choose a new phasing type. And um, 
it's cost per two power and then he's got phasing so you can choose whether he's going to be phased or enhanced density so you can have him so he's either very very hard to hit or he's very very hard to damage so enhanced density, density uh, this character rolls three additional dice when defending against uh, physical attacks and cannot be pushed until the start of the next power phase and the phase this character gains three additional dice when defending against energy attacks and does not suffer collision damage at the start until the start of the next power phase and he's got flight and immunity to bleed and poison and then we flip him over and he's exactly the same on the other side nothing changes um he's still got all the same um things apart from he's got holes in his trousers right okay so and then next what we have winter soldier aka bucky barnes okay or um james buck bucky james buchanan barnes okay um he's got a uh stamina of five a move of medium so he's pretty fast um he's got a strength a height of two and he's a threat value three and he's got three physical three mis three energy and two mystical uh, because he's quite easy to be brainwashed and then his basic attacks are he's got assault rifle which has got a range of five does four damage and costs no power after this attack is resolved the character gains power equal to damage dealt and on a wild it gives the bleed special condition and he's got red fury which has got a range of two does seven damage and costs four power after this attack is resolved the target character is pushed away from this character and then may immediately make an assault rifle attack targeting this character so in essence he could do 30, 11 points of damage if you're lucky in one go for four points and then um, his superpowers he's got hail hydra uh, choose another ally character within two of this character place this character within one of that range, range one of that character so um, that's a free move that costs two power he's got got your back costs two power if an ally character is dead or KO'd by an enemy effect this character may use the superpower after that effect is resolved the character may make an assault rifle attack against that enemy character that caused the effect which is a free attack and quite good and then he's got rogue agent uh one character with a rogue agent counts as an, an affiliated character during squad building so you can actually take him with any squad and he will gain their leadership ability so avengers cabal um wakandans guardians of the galaxy uh spider verse when they come out he can join them because He's a mercenary. <laughs> and, um, he's got uh, Spetsnaz training. This character may re-roll one die when attacking or being attacked by a character that is in range one. So um, quite good. Then we flip him over and on his other side, he has one extra stamina and everything else stays the same. Uh, apart from he gets... Um, no, he's still got, he's got Hydra tactics still. Yep, so everything else stays the same. Okay, so that's a quick look at Vision and Winter Soldier. Um, brilliant miniatures as always from the guys at um, Atomic Mass Games. And um, it's shaping up to be a really good game. There's a lot of good stuff coming out. And there's a lot of good stuff already out. Um, the Guardians of the Galaxy are up next. They're out next week, hopefully. So um, we'll get a look at those as soon as um, I can get my hands on them. Um, um, if you check the link in the description below, you'll see my thoughts and um, link to my thoughts and stuff on this on Gamers Web and a full breakdown of uh, CP13. And um, that's about it for this review. Um, thank you again for tuning in. Um, it's I'm, as I'm doing this. This is March the eighth. We've still got a couple of weeks before Adepticon, so the Worthy Painting Competition is still running um, at Adepticon. So uh, the details for that will be down uh, in the description below. And the UK European uh, leg of the Worthy competition is going to be out at UK Games Expo. This is all uh, coronavirus um, willing, of course, because um, obviously this is a bit, of a bit of a problem for everybody around the world at the moment. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything shall get rectified soon. And um, until I see you next time, have a great day and happy gaming. I've been Mark, and thanks for tuning in to Games Web.